Then look at the promise. Verse 20. The Bible said God was with the lad. I'm not going to get all the Ishmael and Isaac and Israel and or Arab. I'm not going to get into all that. I'm talking, I'm talking about God delights in doing what he said he would do. God delights in rescuing us. Amen. Rahab throws a little scarlet thread out the window. And every wall in that place fell but where she was at. Amen. Y'all listen. That preacher yelled up there and said, I told you. And he didn't just rescue her, rescued the whole family. Amen. I'm just telling you, God delights in rescuing us. There's a woman at the well of Samaria been cast out. Church said we don't want her. She's wicked full of the devil. Harlot, you name it. Guess who went and sat thus on the well and waited on her to show up? God did, and he rescued her. You know how many times God's already got before I got there, he's already there, and he'd already had it worked out. And in the meantime, Brother Dwayne, I'm in a panic trying to figure it out. And God is already promised, and God is already providing. That's my God. That's my God. Hallelujah. God's a God of persistence. You can see the provision, the promise, but the persistence. You know, it's interesting. You go to chapter 25, Abraham dies. When he dies, in chapter 25, verse 9, the Bible said that his sons, Isaac and Ishmael, buried him. Ishmael didn't hold it against him. Hey Amen. Listen to me a minute. The Bible records that Ishmael and Isaac buried their father together. Think about that. Ishmael went back to show respect because of one thing, his mother. Raise them right, train them right. I'd never done it before, but me and my wife went down to the funeral home. Mary did her hair, I painted her nails. Never done that before. But if that's a way that I'd show respect, not just while she was living, I had seven brothers and sisters. You ask my mama. I, I'm talking about in front of them. Ask mama about me. There's two sides of me. One side's my dad's. Some of that I don't like. Because he taught me to fight. But then there's a part of it I do like because there is a time. But the other side's my mom. Sensitive. Cry about everything. Be good to everybody. That's the way my mom is. Hagar got the respect from her son when he went back and helped bury the man that kicked him out. Motherhood's not easy. It's pretty tough. I commend you mamas. Do what you can do. Love them to the Lord. Try to get them right with God. Amen? If they mess up, you gotta love them anyway. There's a point when you can't help them. There's a point when you can't do nothing else. And that's the truth. But while you can, help them. Let's bow our heads. <clears throat> Thank God for the Word of God. While we stand at our feet, maybe you want to come, you just want to pray. God help you be a better mama, better grandma, better mamma. God help me be a God help me be a better kid to my mama. Help me to respect her and love her like I need to. Amen.
I'll notice a little girl hugging. I like that. Amen. If my mama's here, I'd go straight to her right now and give her the biggest hug you've ever seen in your life. And I'd tell her I love her. All what I would give for that. Appreciate and respect them. Lord, we sure do love you. Lord, I thank you for the word of God. And I thank you for helping us preach a little bit today. Lord, I love these mothers in here. I love their godliness. I love the way they're training their children. And I pray, God, that you'd help us to do what the book said. Train, them, train a child up in the way he should go. God, help us to have discernment that every kid's different. So we're going to train them in a different way. Lord, I pray today, God, bless all these mamas. Help them to have the best Mother's Day that they've had in a long, long time. We'll praise you for it because we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Be seated just one minute. Got two things I need to do. Well, actually three. If you're a mother, hold your hand up. Come here, Anthony. These are Bible markers, and they're pretty cool. Uh, hold your hands up, moms. Brother Anthony, bring the Happy Mother's Day. Uh, Charles Spurgeon wrote something on the back.